My film was fuller for my 12 p.m. class. So basically, I had class. I went to a coffee shop, my friend Callan, before I had my next class, which was at four. And then my roommate Dari and I, we just got dinner, and now I'm going to do homework. Demi's sick right now, so she went home. So room to myself today. So I need to do something for a YouTube video right now. I have to do some writing homework. I have to do an application for a club, and I have to do some history homework. It's only seven o'clock. I've got tons of time. today. Literally I'm so tired right now. I wonder if it's 4am. Let's get it. No dummy this morning. It was weird waking up without my little demagogue in my room. <laughs> Class at 11. Is it cloudy today? That's new. But if you live in California, then you know that like it's literally been 100 degrees. But for my Celsius people, it's been like 40 degrees every single day. Like I shower, I'm clean, I'm feeling good. I step out of my apartment and literally I'm sweaty <laughs> within like 10 seconds. And that's not actual crime. It's not okay. Light rain. Sorry, what? After Sunday, the heat wave is over. Let's go eat some breakfast. I was planning on eating breakfast here like I normally do. All of my breakfast foods um, are no longer in the fridge. So I'm going to go to the dining hall and get breakfast. I have never been to the dining hall for breakfast. I've been here for three weeks and I've never eaten the dining hall. For breakfast, I couldn't even know you had a good sleep. It's literally so hot right now, I cannot bring myself to wear pants. I'm just gonna wear this because it's kind of like athleisure material. So it's built for sweating, literally. I'm probably gonna take a bagel to go because it's 10.31. I got lunch and now I'm gonna do a little bit of homework. I didn't go to one of my discussion classes because we were just going over like practice problems and stuff. So I kind of just didn't go and got lunch instead because I literally didn't eat breakfast. I was planning on going to the dining hall, like I said, and then the dining hall is closed during the time that I was gonna go because I guess they're trying to like transition from like breakfast to lunch. Starbucks, the line was way too long. And then I went to this other cafe near my class and the line was way too long. So I literally just ate a granola bar in between um, my first and my second class. Surprisingly, I survived. I need to go grocery shopping though. I was fully gonna go, but then I ended up walking back um, home with my friend and then I just like completely forgot to go. Right now I'm updating my resume for a club application that I'm doing. Then I have to do a couple questions because I have a class tomorrow where two guest speakers are coming and then I have to prepare two questions for that. I have to do a ton of history reading and a discussion post. I have a writing essay due on Monday for my writing class. A case study due for my business class on Monday. And I have to edit this video that you're watching right now. It's a busy, busy freaking time at this school, okay? And I was hanging out with people last night, which I shouldn't have done, but I finished like all the homework that I needed to do for last night. It's legitimately so difficult like being at university because all of your friends are so easy access to you because you all like live together. Even if you live in different buildings, it's like a five, 10 minute walk. Basically having like your best friends be your neighbor. So it's so tempting to just like want to hang out with them all the time. I don't know how I'm ever gonna set boundaries with them. <laughs> go to USC, literally the business clubs at this school are so unbelievably competitive to get into. For this club that I just applied to, there's literally like four rounds of interviews and stuff. But at least I applied and got that out of the way. It's not break time. So I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna do my two questions for my business class for the speakers that I have tomorrow. We're on track in terms of time. Bully just took a 20 minute power nap. I'm so tired.
Let's do a grocery haul because Dara and I just went to the grocery store. I basically just like replaced everything that I used. I got bread. I don't even know what bread this is. It literally says sesame bread, which is a bit odd, like sesame bread. Oh, it literally expires on September 10th. But I'm gonna put it in the fridge, hopefully it'll be okay. I got bagels, these are the bagels that I always get. There were literally two bags left as you saw. Classic. Oh my goodness, y'all, I got these lava cakes. Those lava cakes are the best thing that exists at Trader Joe's. I microwaved one three weeks ago. It was like, it was a part, it was all right. Then I baked one two days ago. So good. It just takes like 30 extra minutes. Then I got these snacks. I got these organic chocolate chip granola bites. I got bananas. I honestly don't know why, I kind of just felt like it, like recently when i've been eating like just a bagel or bread for breakfast i'm like starving two hours later so this could be like another good thing to eat during breakfast time and then lastly i got raspberries for my oats and also i just like eating raspberries in the morning i do this trick where i wet a paper towel and i put the paper towel on top of the raspberries and then i put it in the fridge and they do tend to last longer because raspberries literally die out on you in like a day take this wet it kind of like that and then So it's time to do my history homework. So much reading and so much information. So I have to read this book for class and then I have to do a discussion post on it as well as another primary source that I need to read. But this book is dense, y'all. Like, are you kidding? First of all, the pages are long. And then the size of the font is like font size eight, I swear to God. amount of productiveness that has taken place tonight, but that means that I get to go to Insomnia and get a cookie with Daria. I just got back from all of my classes. My business class, which is the one that I had to wear this lovely suit for. My blazer is hung up now, but I had to wear a blazer too. Kind of liking this outfit. Like this is a better outfit than the one that I was wearing last week. And I actually got to ask my question to one of the guest speakers. And it was this really, really cool woman who is literally like the most accomplished person I think I've ever met in my entire life. I got lunch with Daria and our other friends. And now I need a shower. I need to wash my hair anyway, because I'm probably going out tonight. I also have an eyebrow appointment and I'm scared it's for the place that's on campus because in the village at usc there's like different little shops and stuff and there's like a nail salon slash waxing place slash eyelash extension place and i'm gonna get my eyebrows done there today <laughs> outfits just for the late afternoon slash evening it's a little bit cooler thank goodness so pants are probably gonna be the move so recently I got a bunch of new fall slash back to school pieces from our den and they're sponsoring this video so thank you so much to them the shirt that I'm wearing right now is our den I love wearing tank tops like this to sleep in to lounge in everywhere they have this tank top in a bunch of different colors it's literally the best these vests that I'm about to show you have got to be my favorite things of all time this is this black one just super super cute with a little black mini skirt or just like baggy black trousers and then also the same one but in this little print i wore this the other day and it literally looked so freaking cute i got this top mostly for like going out purposes like when i go with my friends whatever a bodysuit just like a nice little kind of contour moment i also got a bunch of really really nice like lounging stuff for the fall it's still so hot right now in california but like super cute little fall pieces like this little cardigan with like a skirt would be so cute there's also this really cute like dress that they sent me it's a little like corset dress it's so cute it's like a little knit material because i like it because it's kind of like casual but you can also dress it up and then oh my gosh this shirt vest is so cute when it gets a little bit cooler here i'm literally gonna be wearing this all the time to lounge in in the dorm but also like even to go out i feel like wearing this with like parachute pants could be cool it's so soft and so comfy like i love my sherpa stuff it's gonna make me feel like there are four seasons in california when in reality it's just one season just getting to wear and same kind of thing this is literally my favorite thing of all time it's this little fuzzy sherpa sweater i will be in this in class like for real it's so soft it's not even funny i did get this really cute tank top that i probably am gonna wear i like how it's like nice and like casual but it's still super cute so it's this little like 
brown tank top with some little lace detailing on the edges. Let's try her on. Literally so cute. I'm obsessed. This is gonna be so good for California fall because obviously it's not your typical fall here. It's literally warm. It's literally hot, but at least it's brown. So that's like, you know, some nice neutral fall colors. Like as you can tell, a lot of the stuff that I got is like the nude browns, but this top is actually so, so cute. It fits me really well. All the tops I got in a size small and then the jeans that I'm gonna show you right now, I got in a three, but this is actually so, so cute. So I'm gonna wear this and then I got some jeans. This first one, they are 90s high rise. This is my favorite wash of jeans, just like the medium kind of wash. I feel like it just looks really, really good with everything. It's not too dark, not too light. They have like a loose leg, but then they're kind of tight around the top area. And I got them in a three, like I said. These are the same ones, but they're in a different wash, in a little light wash. Um, and there's like a nice little knee rip there. And lastly, the same 90s high rise. But I feel like it's just such a classic pair of jeans. Like the fit just looks so flattering, but in a nice dark wash. So let's try try them on. First wash is the medium wash. I don't know why I tried this one on first because I knew that I was gonna love them and I'm gonna have to change back into them after I try on the other ones. I love the fit, they fit absolutely perfectly. I'm like a 25 and a half, 26 ish waist. And then lengthwise, they fit me absolutely perfectly and I'm five, seven. Here is the next pair. They actually are a different style than the other ones, I think. They fit a lot more baggy around the top. Here's what they look like. I probably could have sized down and gotten a one. So if you're like kind of between sizes and you want them to fit a little bit like tighter on the top, then go for the lower size, I think. And here's the last option, the little dark wash. And I think I'm actually gonna stick with these. I feel like it goes with the dark top. It fits the exact same as the first pair, so perfectly. And that's gonna be the outfit for this evening. Nice and comfy, nice and chill. These jeans are literally so comfortable. So those are all of the little Arden clothing pieces and outfit. Definitely check out the links in the description box if you want to check anything out. No, because it's the way that I just made direct eye contact with someone across the- <laughs> Demi's back! Demi dog! Taste test time. I've never had the sugar cookie. I always get the birthday cake one and I got the chocolate chip. Oh! It's good. It's so good. ASMR? I think this might be the move from now on. 